Welcome back to another Aurora Public Library Tech Tips video. My name is Jason, and in this video, I'll talk about the changes to Cloud Library for e-ink users. This applies to owners of Kobo and Nook e-ink devices that use the Mac and Windows desktop software to borrow and transfer titles to their e-ink devices. As of December 31st, 2020, that software will no longer be supported so if you have it installed, please uninstall it from your computer. In the new e-ink transfer process, you must first download the e-ink file to your computer, then transfer the file from your computer to your e-ink device using Adobe Digital Editions. Let's learn how to download the e-ink file from the Aurora Public Library web portal for Cloud Library. On a web browser, visit Aurora Public Library's website at www.auroraPL.ca. Under the Digital Shelf menu, click on the Read link. Then on the Digital Shelf page, look for the Cloud Library image and click it. You'll be then taken to the Aurora Public Library portal for Cloud Library. On the top right, you can click on the green login button to log in with your library card number and PIN. After logging into Cloud Library, you can begin browsing the different ebooks available for borrowing. For example, let's take this title, Shame on Me by Tessa McGuan. If we click on the cover, we can find more information, including a publisher, the book description, and more by this author. Let's borrow this title by clicking on the green borrow button. In order to transfer this title from our computer to the e-ink device, we need to download it for offline reading. So let's click on this download for offline reading link and a file ending in ACSM will be downloaded to your computer. So let's save this to our desktop and we can move on to the next step of using Adobe Digital Editions to transfer this file to our e-ink device. In order to download Adobe Digital Editions, go to Cloud Library's website at www.yourcloudlibrary.com. Under the Get the App menu, click on the Web Patron slash e-ink link. On this page, click the red Get Adobe Digital Editions button. On this page, you'll find the Adobe Digital Edition installer files for Macintosh and Windows computers. Select the one that applies for your computer. After installing Adobe Digital Editions to your computer, find the ebook file that you've downloaded from Cloud Library. Drag and drop it into Adobe Digital Editions, and it will ask you to authorize your computer with an Adobe ID. If you don't have an Adobe ID yet, you can create a new one by clicking on the Create an Adobe ID link. After authorizing your computer, Adobe Digital Editions will import the ebook title that you've downloaded from Cloud Library and automatically open it up for you. Go back to the library by clicking on the library button at the top left of the screen. Then you can connect your ebook device to your computer. After you connect your e-ink device to your computer, it will show up in Adobe Digital Editions on the left hand side under devices. From here, you can click on the ebooks that you want to transfer onto your device and drag and drop it onto the name of the device on the left hand side. Afterwards, you can make sure that the ebook has been successfully transferred to your device by clicking on the name of the device. In the device window, you can see the ebooks on the device. And we can see that Shame on Me has been successfully transferred to the Kobo. If it's your first time using your new Adobe ID, you may have to authorize your e ink devices with your Adobe ID. Click on the gear icon beside Devices and click Authorize Device. Then click on Authorize Device in the pop-up window that appears. Then click OK. Now your e-ink device has been authorized with your new Adobe ID, and you'll be able to read the e-books that you've just transferred to your e-ink device. Thanks for tuning in. If you have any problems or issues with this process, please contact us at info at aurorapl.ca.